growing up, I would be teased about having childbearing hips. I was so embarrassed that it affected how I walked. That's when I went into fitness. Fitness was for me, at that time, it was to correct what I felt was imperfect about my body. I did everything. I went into powerlifting, I tried, you know, I tried CrossFit, r rugby even. At a young age, I felt disjointed from my body. I didn't feel like it was me. It felt like it was this separate entity. The way that I came to terms with it and I befriended it and I grew to love it was because I got into sports. I started running, I did a marathon, I did a triathlon, I started competing in sailing. I climbed so many mountains and then before I knew it, my body was functioning. It was amazing. I was doing pull-ups, I could climb ropes. I became a triathlete. I used to not know how to swim. Now I swim three kilometers as if it's nothing. I can run 10 kilometers in less than an hour, like it's nothing. All of a sudden I felt so strong, I felt so empowered. I know that if I still had that body where I wasn't eating, I was just, or I was throwing up, I wouldn't be able to do the things or half the things that I can do today. So I approach fitness working my literally my ass off. And in the end, I started to hurt myself. I have an herniated disc. It's like the universe and God telling me to stop. Slow down, listen to your body. I fractured my, my hips two years ago in a bike accident. And after that, I just have this profound gratitude for being mobile. Like I can't wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I don't want to be here. It's just I can walk today. I'm more attuned with my body yeah. now and I'm now in love with my body. I don't weigh 120 or below. I am way above that. I now weigh 160. Before that was my goal. I'm like, I need, I need toned arms, I need my abs, I need a nice butt. That was the goal, it was all about the physical. But now it's all about what my body can do and how I feel. And then everything else is just a bonus. You're not going, you're never going to be the strongest person in the world. You're never going to be the most aesthetic person. You're never going to be, there's not, no such thing as perfection. The perfect body is a body that's loved.